Welcome to another one of our video demos on some of the new features in 9.4. Um, one feature that uh, people have been requesting is a way to isolate um, mobile phones and other mobile devices that people bring into the office or home. One uh, feature we added was uh, the ability to see um, HTTP traffic based on um, user HTTP agent or OS. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use Captive Portal to separate that traffic out and provide either warning or a way of logging them, their mobile phones, if they're authorized. So first of all, we'll take a look at the host viewer. This is going to show us the user agents that are on our network. Um, it looks like we have a couple of computers and an iPad. I'm going to start some mobile traffic from my iPhone. And so we can see the user agent. Let's refresh it now. So as you can see, the host name has iPhone in it. And so does the user agent. And there's one other column. There's the user agent and the user agent OS. Sometimes they're, they're different. Um, you, it's best to use both fields when checking. So we'll demonstrate how to use Captive Portal to provide a message to mobile phone users that are connecting to our network. Uh, by the way, this works with Android or iPhone. Um, for Android phones, you'll use the word Android. And for iPhones, you'll use um, iPhone. Um, so we we'll add a little message here to tell people that uh, we're monitoring traffic. We're not. We could easily do a, a login where you have to log in with your credentials to use the network from your mobile phone. But here we're just going to provide a warning to you know agree that your traffic is going to be monitored. So we'll save that. Now for the rules. One of the new uh, rules that we can add is something called uh, client user agent and we can specify what kind of agent. Um, in this case we're going to put iPhone. Mm -hmm. One thing to remember on this is that um, the spelling has to be case sensitive. So in this case um, the P is capitalized in iPhone. Same thing for Android. Um, I found on different networks that Android sometimes do lower and, lower and upper case. So you might have to do a mixture. Uh, so we just did user agent and now we're going to do user agent OS because they're not always caught on either one. So I'll basically provide the same information for the user agent OS. And we'll put the iPhone in there also. And we'll make this a capture rule also. Okay, so now we have two rules for uh, user agent and user OS. We'll save those changes. Now we'll look at our user event and our rule event. You can see now it's capturing um, the traffic that's coming from the iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and go on the iPhone and log in. And we see uh, the capture page. As you can see, these are my previous attempts to log in. So I'll go ahead and click the OK that I'll obey these rules when I browse the internet from my phone. Let's refresh. And now we can see the my iPhone has been logged in as anonymous because we're using basic login. And I can get on the traffic. And my status shows the iPhone on there also is logged in. That's the basic rules for the captive portal. Now, if you have policy manager, you can go one step further. And that is bring all the mobile phones onto a special rack that's just dedicated for mobile devices. We'll show you how to do that now. First thing we'll do is add a new rack. We're going to call it mobile rack because we're going to put all the mobile devices on this. And that way we can create different rules based on um, different limitations we're going to put on mobile devices that are coming into our network. Uh, we'll make it a parent, a child of a previous rack, so we don't have to do all the rules. And now we're going to create some rules to 
bring devices to this um, special rack. We'll do the same client user agent, same thing with iPhone. And we'll put that on the And we'll create one for user agent also. OS. And we'll put that on the mobile rack. Now there's one other thing you can do in um, Policy Manager. And we have something called client name, host name. A lot of host names for iPhones will have the word iPhone. Same thing with Android phones. So it's an extra thing we can capture on uh, in case we miss it on some of the other items. It's kind of useful for non http traffic. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and add this one too. It makes an additional way of capturing uh, devices. So when you're going to do this for both iPhones and Android phones, the uh, thing to do is you would create those same three rules for um, for both iPhone and Android. So you'd have a total of six rules to capture all these and move them to a special rack. So we'll create some traffic um, so we can see the way the policy works. Uh, one thing that you have to do, you have to put the, these rules at the top, otherwise they may be caught by some of the other rules. So we're going to move them so they get evaluated first because this is first true rule um, exits the uh, decision tree. So we want to make sure this is caught early on. So let's create more traffic with the iPhone and a little more traffic. Might have to close this out so we get a new fresher view. So let's um, go ahead and close this out. And reopen it. Go back to the event log and create some more traffic on the smartphone. And here we are. The iPhone now is on the mobile rack, so special rules can be applied to it. Anyways, I hope this was helpful in uh, managing your network and especially with all the new uh, devices that people bring into the office and school, and you can direct your traffic. Take care and hope to see you again on the forums.